I created this video some time back and a lot of you guys wanted a dynamic design with a fully functional add to cart functionality. So I made this website dynamic where any edits I make on WooCommerce will directly reflect here. Like let's change the price of this product here on the WooCommerce. And let's also add another image to this product and come back to our website and hit refresh. As you can see, all our changes are being reflected here. Also, I can add this product in my cart and be navigated to the payment page here. So to do this, let's start by adding a new free plugin for this functionality, Shoplanter. Now back to Elementor, I created this design for an earlier video. If you want to know how to create this, you can check the link in the description. Using the off canvas template from the same video, we'll update the content to make it dynamic. For the first pop-up, add the WL Universal Product Layout widget from Shoplanter. Set the column to 1. In the query settings, choose filter by ID and select the product you want to display. Then set the product limit here to 1 to make sure only this product appears. You should also hide any unnecessary elements except for the category to keep things focused. Now let's style the layout. Set the border color and background color to transparent. Head to the advanced tab and adjust the top margins minus 155 and the bottom margin to 5. This will ensure everything is positioned perfectly. Next, we'll redesign the container to make it look polished and user friendly. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my side speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Next, we'll redesign the container to make it look polished and user friendly. Adjust the top margin to minus 110 for better spacing. Add a text editor widget and enable dynamic tags. From the options, choose product title and link it to the specific product. Repeat this process for the product shot description, ensuring that it's linked to the same product. Remove any other descriptions from the template to avoid repetitions. Now, move the product rating into the container for better placement. Add another text widget here for the product price and link it dynamically to the product. Finally, include an add to cart button like this and link it to the same product. Style the button to match your theme and after making some more adjustments, this is how it looks. Once the first design is complete, delete the other off canvas templates from the last design, copy the current design and paste it into each container for all other products. This ensures uniformity across all pop-ups. Assign the close functionality to each icon and make sure it corresponds to the correct button so users can easily close the pop-up. Now it's time to update the products for each layout. Change the product title, description, price and add to cart button for each product. Double check that all product details are accurate and linked correctly to their respective items. Before wrapping up, make some minor adjustments Resize the canvas to fit the screen and modify margins if necessary. Check the alignment of the close button to ensure it's easy to access. Lastly, make sure all product images are visible by adjusting the image settings and styling them as a slider for a more interactive experience. Now, let's check the website and test the pop-ups to ensure everything is aligned, functional and dynamic. As you can see, it works perfectly. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.